the Starting Five, a DraftKings production, live from the compound, where we sit down with the NBA's most relevant culture crafters for in-depth conversations you won't get anywhere else. The Starting Five, live from the compound. What up, GP? My guys, Welcome what's going to the on, man? man? Thank you, man. Thank you for Appreciate coming. it, man. Thank you, brother. brother. Jay, what's happening? How you doing? What's up, baby? Good, good, good. So I had a question because two parts of it. Your game, if nobody knew where you're from, you look like you played from New York. It's like, you know, the word point God is in New York. And then with your game style, hook style, even Jason Kidd, what makes them similarities, you think, you know, from like, and also the trash talk. I mean, trash talk, of course, it's a street ball thing worldwide. Mm -hmm. But it's something about point guards and guards in Oakland and New York that's similar and connected with the trash talk? I think it's, it's our attitude. Mm. All guard, all point guards from here got an attitude. Yeah. They got a chip on their shoulder. Fact. That's how they play. My boy Rod Strickland, man, which me and him are like this. That's, That's why I was always cool with him and I would hang out with him all during our, yeah. our career because he was just like me. He mm. wouldn't back down, he wouldn't do none of that. And me and him had the same mentality. Man, we wouldn't back down from nobody. Talk to whoever, whoever came <laughs> up getting down with us, whoever it was, Michael Jordan, whoever it was, anybody else, all these other dudes that was coming out here, the Tim Hardaways, whatever they was, we was going to get at their helmet. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's what New York guards and Oakland guards are about. Mm. We just ain't going to take no, no mess. That ain't, that ain't going to happen here. You know what I'm saying? When I was in the league, I didn't care who you was. I, I put my pants on just like you, and I'll get down just like you. You know what I'm saying? If they, if you talking about me, you talking about him, that means I can get down with him. You know what I'm saying? That's why I didn't ever back down to nobody, and that's why my game was so, was so confident that I know I could talk trash and get somebody out their game. But the back, but the, what the good thing was is that I just didn't have to play him on the defensive end. Mm. I can get down on him on the offensive end. Side. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna give him 22 and something, and then, but I'm gonna hold them to whatever I need to hold them Still to. Hold them so to. that's what it was. And that's what the New York and Oakland is similarity to, because I think we got that, you know, we don't give a damn about nobody. And that's the way most of the point guards in New York is about and Oakland is about. Yeah. Now we're gonna fast forward to college for a minute, because I used to come home from my high school games and by the time I take a shower, eat dinner, had to go in the bed, I catch you, I could catch you the Oregon State, the Beavers game. I remember seeing you one day. I was like, who is this? <laughs> who is this guy? You was all over the place. <laughs> you was moot. You just had the, you had adrenaline and your energy was crazy <laughs> than I ever seen before. I'm like, what is this Oregon State? This who is, is he? Yeah, hey, who is then I, I I seen you from that one night, and then I start following you forever. And <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah. Let's talk about college recruitment. I was Jay. You know, if y'all didn't hear this story, I was coming here was coming to New, New York. York. You know, I committed to St. John's. What? Oh, yeah. Wow. And Louis Conaseca, he did it at the end. You know how you go into your gyms and you was gonna announce where you go. Oh, yeah. I was ready to do that. We was ready to come back, and now all of a sudden he called me right before that and said. He didn't want to take me because he wanted to take a local guy from over here because he didn't want his recruiting to get messed up because they never recruited nobody for, for past Mississippi. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Coach Rutledge, who was there at the time, had been recruiting me. So I came out here on a recruiting trip, everything. You know, we had yeah. Moses Scurry was on that trip, uh, Jason Williams. Wow. We had a lot of dudes, man, on that trip, and we all committed. Mm. So when I committed and went through that, what happened was he when he when he turned me down, I, I was I was disappointed because I wanted to come play with uh, Chris Mullins, Walter Berry, mm -hmm. she, uh, Shelton Jones, Willie well, well, Willie Glass, mm -hmm. Weddington, mm -hmm. and then Mark Jackson was on that team. You remember that? Yeah. So you remember they had just got beat by Georgetown mm -hmm. in the final four. Oh. And I was coming to play in the Big East. That's what I wanted to play in, because yeah. I wanted the limelight. Yeah, I wanted all that. I wanted all out. the Big E stuff. <laughs> I wanted to be that dude, man. You know what From I'm saying? Because I knew I could East. come over here and get out. Yeah. So they, they did it, and then I got disappointed, and then I told my mama to pick my school. Mm -hmm. And when she picked the school, she picked it from the coach, and his name was Ralph Miller. Okay. He was a tough coach. She wanted me to get out of the, the city and go into the country so I could change my life. 
Okay. Because she didn't want me around city no guys no yeah. more, nothing, yeah. no street stuff. She wants you to focus. Yeah, she wanted me to focus, and it was the best move that my mama ever made. Right. You know, Always rest is, in peace right? to my mom. Yeah, no, I, so they, my yeah, I, thought, I thought about it. I said, my mama made, made my whole career. She made my whole life because she put, sent me to a school that I needed to go to. Go to. And that's what it was. Mm -hmm. And when I went to Oregon State, nobody really, really heard about me back here in the East Coast. Mm. And then when I, when I went to my coach, I said, yo, we got to play somebody from the East Coast. We got to play some guys over here. Mm. So when we played Michigan State and when we started getting over here, we played uh, North Carolina State and stuff like that, I started getting down on them. We went on a trip. We played Tennessee, Memphis, all that. And I was averaging about 30. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, ESPN started coming and Dick Vitale came. Mm. Y'all know when Dickie V come, yeah. it's yeah. all over. It's we need a dapper dandy. We got a dapper dandy there in the West. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was like that. And then he was like, we got a special one in Corvallis. And once I start doing that, if y'all know Ramil Robinson, he yeah, used to play for Michi Michigan. Michigan. Yeah. We, we were the, the two guards. And then all of a sudden, you know, Chris Jackson was at LSU. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I became that All-American with all of them guys. And then I started doing it, just like with Jada. When you got up, Jada, everybody was telling me that story. They was like, man, we start hearing about you, man. So we start coming up, and y'all games is late, late our yeah. way, so we can see y'all. And once they start putting me on ESPN and I start Over. showing out, it was, it was different. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I, I, on ESPN, I was averaging about 35, mm -hmm. 40. You know what I'm saying? We played Loyola Marymount with Hank Gathers in them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I fouled out with 50. You know what I'm saying? And then, <laughs> and then, then Hank, then, you know, then um, Bo Kimball, mm -hmm. he ended up with 54. Mm -hmm. You know I what I'm saying? I remember that game. I remember that game. I yeah. Crazy. Yeah. And wow, we, and we scored about 100, we scored about 140 some awesome. point. Yeah. We, and you know, I had half of my team points or whatever. So it was cool. Yeah. And, and that's when I started to become who I was at Oregon State. And then what happened was we put, we put it on the map. We put it on the map when I got on the cover of Sports Illustrated, when I became player of the year of Sports Illustrated. And then that, that, it all took off. It all took off. So let's, let's go to draft night, man. Like, come, like, we always talk to everybody because it's a special night for everybody. How, how was that night for you? Like, you know, and, and then the fun question is where's the hat at today? Free that boy, you got some good questions there. <laughs> That's some good questions. And I'm gonna be honest with you on the real. So during the time, you know, I only worked out for two teams. I only worked out for for New Jersey okay. and Seattle. Seattle, okay. So that's only two teams. So I knew where I was gonna go. I was gonna either go one or two. two yep. You know what I'm saying? So they had already told me, and I wanted to go two to Seattle because Seattle was in the northwest. I wanted to stay in the west. I knew where I was gonna go. You I was excited. It. You already had a plan. But all I wanted to do was hear my name. You know, yeah. you, 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 you hear what they're going to do, yeah. but you don't know what's going to happen. You don't, you, don't know the, you don't know how it's going to feel either. You don't know how it's going to feel because you're going to turn from uh, a thousandaire to a millionaire. You know what I'm saying? So that's going to change my whole life and my mom and daddy and everybody. All our lives are going to change. Mm. As soon as my name was called at the second pick, when we totaled, New Jersey that I wasn't gonna come if they picked me. Mm -hmm. So they picked Darren Coleman. And then I knew next thing you know, as soon as Derek name was named, was called, Seattle called my agent and they put me on the phone. And they was like, how you doing? How you feel? I was like, I'm good. And they was like, you know, we about to pick you next. And I was like, cool. You know what I'm saying? As soon as I heard that, I was like, cool. You know what I'm saying? So I told mom to look around with mom. The mom started crying. So I started crying with her. Pops was over there, he hard. He was yeah, like, boy, I knew uh, you, boy, you, you knew you was going this there. Know. You know what I'm saying? He, he, <laughs> you know that. Then my brothers and them, they was all over there. They was, they was kid chilling. My sisters and them was chilling. So we knew it. As soon as I got up, they gave me the hat. I bent it over. We had the old school phone, you know, like the cord. Well, the the had, one, had all the long cord and stuff. <laughs> you could walk everywhere with it, man. It was green and gold. So I was talking to the, uh, the, the president. And we was doing that. And then when we got out of there, they gave me the hat. I gave the hat to my mom. Mm -hmm. okay. So everything that I got went to fridge, her. I gave it to my mom. So my mom's passed like four years ago. And uh, we went to her crib. And what amazed me about my mom, she kept, she kept everything in a 
in a closet. Mm. It was like a shrine closet. But mm. she never would let us go in there. And I'd have been in my mama's house yeah. several times. Yeah. Man, you know what I'm saying? God bought the thing for it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I bought the closet. I bought the, God bought the closet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so she would never let me go down that way. You know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't really in mom's room like that. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? So when she died and I went through all her stuff, I done gave her everything I had. You know what I'm yeah. saying? My, my all-star, all-star rings, my jerseys, everything. I went in there, man. I, I got a book right now to this day that my mama gave it to me about everything in my high school year. Wow. My high school. So then all of a sudden, I opened up a little little compartment when it had all my championship rings, my all-star rings, mm. my um my Hall of Fame ring, all that stuff. My mom's championship necklaces and stuff. And wow. guess what was right there? The hat. The hat. Wow. Yo, you probably You're got. the only one who the located it. Pro- the v. hat. So we interviewed mad people. Niggas, but I think my cousin Shamik stole it from my mom that night. <coughs> Nobody really knows where it's at now. And like, yeah. Man, that's And cool. I got that thing now. It's sitting up in my office in a glass little thing. You know how you put the balls in there? Yeah, the, you got, I got the hat in there. That's fine. So it, it's dope though, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, and so people came in there one day, they was like, I know that ain't the original hat. They was like, man, let me buy it. I'm like, man, you crazy as <laughs> heck. Man, I ain't buying that. You get crazy. No, you should, you, so you should like, sell it for your, your same contract that you got when you got trapped. That's what I'm trying that's to say. The, now, y'all give me that type of bread. I'm good I'll with sell it. it. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Give me that type of paper, man. You can have it because I can duplicate that because it ain't going to work, man. Ain't nobody going to know it ain't the hat. You know what I'm saying? If I get the same hat, you know I got what I'm the saying? bread for the hat now. Yeah. Oh, man. So, how was it going to, you know, um, Supersonics, <laughs> man? Like, even the colors, man, it, to me, it's one of the illest jerseys in the game, man. Like, That's a fact. The, like, please bring it with the, t- with the building. I forgot the name of the building, but. Uh, the Space Needle. The, yeah. Space Needle, the, yeah. The, everything, was, it just, the, it was a culture there with you and Kemp, but how was it going there? Like, now you know you're there, like, you like, okay, I'm here. Boy, going up in Seattle, you know it's different because it rains all the time. Totally. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I was already a, a customer to that because I went to Oregon State. Yeah, which Port- is, was Portland. Yeah. Rain all the Rain time all the anyway. Time. Yep. So the Northwest was my thing. So going to Seattle was a great move for me because all I was doing was moving down the street. Mm-hmm. I still had a fan base there. So in the 90s, uh, Seattle was just coming up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They was new to all kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? But so they needed a superstar to come. To keep going with the- Keep it going. And they started recruiting me and coming to all my games. They was like, we gonna get you somehow. Mm. So when they got into the lottery, I thought they were gonna to, they're gonna trade some guys to come to get to pick to get me because I knew I wasn't gonna go past three. Mm. So guess what happened? They lucked up and got the ball out of eighteen percent. They got the number two ball. Wow, mm. out of eighteen yeah. percent. So you knew it was meant to be. So when they did it, and I went to Seattle, man, it was so much of a warm welcome. Welcome. So I was like, this is it. This is home. This is for me. And I was only an hour and 30 minute flight away. From a, yeah. They give me they give me so much love there still. You know, I can go to the Seahawks game and be the 12th man to do the 12th man thing. Right. I go to the, the, the WNBA, the Storm, still got yeah, fire on love. there. Every time we go there, now I'm a part of the... Uh, the Krakens, the NHL team. Oh, the hockey I got team, the, yeah. I got the, 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 the trom where I'm pumping them all up, man, getting them going in the jersey. So it's still fire up yeah. there, man. It's still fire. And going to the Mariners game. Yeah. Still fire. Still yeah. fire. Well, we need yeah. you to bring it back. We need you to bring this expansion team back. 2026. It's ho- 2026. You know, it's going to be Vegas and, and Seattle. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, yeah, it's going to be kind of dope for us. You got to do it, man. <laughs> Gotta, it's gonna be kind of dope for us, man, and I think that's you know you know having having our uh, commissioner Adam Silver doing it and being being positive with us and us. keeping us going. You know Vegas is building up and now us, so yeah. I think it's gonna be really it's cool. It's the right city to bring back. Man. Ripe city, man. A lot of people want to go back to Seattle. You a know, lot of that's people. What, players want to go there. K K D talking about that's where he want to end his, his career. career at. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? And then my son now playing in there. So where he was born, Ooh. he said he want to go there. You know what I'm saying? So that'll be dope, man. You know to have all them dudes. Go. You gonna do something? We don't know what you gonna do there, but I'm gonna be there. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Know. I'm gonna make it happen. <laughs> so I see y'all 
Got all these jerseys up in here, right? Uh -oh. Y'all ain't got a GP jersey to one. Yeah, yeah. Y'all know I was coming on this thing. So wait, wait. We got we got a reason for that. Okay, talk to me. Every jersey's from the player. Okay. And they game one. He's not swingmans. Okay. They not for Oh, I see they, they sign. They sign, but they, they game one jerseys. Yeah, I'm gonna give y'all now nah, I'm gonna give y'all something tough. Right. Y'all we talked about it, right? Jay Z, he don't want one like you. Yeah, we want I'm gonna fool around and get Jay an all-star one. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm knock you down to all-star. Yeah. If you say you want Seattle, right? I was gonna knock you down and give me an Olympic one. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I was gonna knock you down with Olympic. I, you know what? I'm gonna take the Olympic and I'm gonna wait for the new Seattle jersey with the new team. There it is. That's how I'm gonna come still back. have the same color. No, but I'm gonna I'm do y'all, man. I, I'm gonna do y'all both with both. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yes. So y'all can rock it. So Only, can rock one at the crib and then y'all can bring one here. Somebody's yeah. gonna get knocked off the table. That's the, the, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the that's Olympic. Not, that's they, that's they, spot. This is this is this is future Hall of Famers. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta go with. This yeah, is, good. Gotta, this is yeah. GP, man. Yeah. He, Garland got a lot He might need his own team. Garland gonna come, man. He got a lot of the years ago. Yeah, he got a lot yeah, of the years. Yeah, yeah. You know, these two, gonna do his this thing. one gonna be a definite. Yeah. I don't know what's gonna happen with me. She a definite. She a definite. Real oh, yeah. No, no, no. She gonna be nice. She gonna she be in she, the WNBA. She good. You know what I'm saying? With Garland. He got a lot of time. He got a lot of time. I'm Brown, if he keep doing what he do, he gonna be in GP might need his own table. We might need a or, frame. He got, yeah, we got, he got, we got, we got to figure something go out. In the, he, he in the rap But well, we yeah. got pipes. We can start hanging them now. Yeah, the, hey, that's how I got it in my thing. Oh, I you, got them all hanging. Oh, you got them. You know, I got the whole Olympic Dream Team Two. Mm. Dream Team Two. I got them all thing where we can see it both sides. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of dope, man. Yeah. I had, I got it dope. See, I got to re, we got to rearrange it here now. Yeah, yeah. So, so let's go into one of the questions I always think is fun, man. Is like. How was that moment for you getting a shoe with Nike and it was called the glove and, and it was a different style of shoe? Jay and Free, that's when I knew I made it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's when you know you make it, man. When a, when a big time company like Nike come to you and say, yo, look here, man. We need to get you a shoe. So, so the game now, when you look at the game of, of big threes, then it was a point it was the one man, the star of the team. But you was a part of a great two man team, man. Like, just talk about how like that dynamic of you and Kemp was, and like y'all 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 had y'all changed a, a form of basketball to a certain degree, mm -hmm. and like I still think that that the guard that that positioning is still there. How was that uh, playing? Sonic Boom era. Yeah. That's how what was it that was. It was called a Sonic Boom. And hey, you know what people are talking about that that uh, that uh, Lob City up and then the Clippers. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Nigga, I was first lob. We, we was first, the first, first lob. First lob all lob. Nigga, I used to throw things all up over here. That boy used to come get it. I got die. You know what I'm saying? You got die. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, come on now. Y'all don't talk about that with Griffin and all them, man. Yeah, and CB, man. I was already doing that, man. I was doing that early in the 90s, man. Before that boy was even probably in diapers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> them dudes was in diapers, man. You know what I'm saying? They was trying to look at us. You feel what I'm saying? Yep. So it ain't even about all that, man. It's like when me and Sean got together, it was already a brotherhood. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we yeah. started doing stuff from day one when I got there. We started drinking together. We started hanging out together. Mm. It was like a brotherhood. So every time we went to practice, he started talking about, yo, anytime I say, who, you do whatever you want. And he started saying, who, who, and I just start bing, ba, ba, throwing it down. Then I told him, if I'm pressuring the ball up top, no, I'm going to get the steal. As soon as you see me get the steal, you run. he just starts sprinting. Mm. That's all he did. He was like, if he get in trouble and I, he see him get, turn his back to me or whatever in the ball way out here, I'm going to take that. That's me. That's cookies. I'm taking it away from you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go get it. And as soon as I get it, it's only going to take me two dribbles. And he's going to come sprinting out of nowhere, and I'm just going to throw that thing up. I'm going to throw it up in the <laughs> and he's going to go get it. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna take so me we two had dribbles. it. It's going to take me two dribbles to get it. If I, if I rip you at, at, at half court, boom, boom, it's on. It's, it's funny you say that. She, Wallace, told, told me this. is like, people now, y'all used to, want to get to a certain spot on the floor. Mm -hmm. And the less amount of dribbles to get to that spot is the, is the goal. Right. But now it's, it's, 
It's, it, it's about your, your, like your and one stuff and all that other stuff. When, when, when uh, Skip to my Lou and all them start doing all of that and these yep. kids start doing all of this, man, they're trying to get a timing in there. They don't know how to, to get by nobody. Me, mm. I don't need to do blah, 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 all that through my legs. I'm going to go right at you one time, bang, and I'm going to make you be accountable for anything you do. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to hit you and come back and let you recover and try to block my shot. Out. Man, I, man, look, well, if you behind go, me, yeah. you gone. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm killing you. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got time to be coming back to hang out with you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going to do you now. I'm going to get out on you to now. I'm going to get there. And that's how we was. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Now it's about a show. It's mm -hmm. a show. They want you to fall, look at you and all that. Because if, if he make me fall and look at me, the next time he come down, I guarantee you, I'm gonna put this elbow dead in his in his, in his nose. I'm gonna break <laughs> everything up in him. I'm gonna break everything in him. I swear to God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break everything. I'm gonna snap everything he got because you ain't gonna be on no clown mode. Yeah. It ain't no clown here. You know what yeah. I'm saying? This is about real basketball. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna, or I'm gonna break your arm. Uh, every time you go up, well, bah, I'm gonna try to crack everything in here. We playing real basketball. Yeah. This ain't no show. You know what I'm saying? You look at me and then sit down and shoot a jumper. Okay, let me show you how I'm gonna do you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm going yeah, to show you something. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So it wasn't about all that with us, man. Mm -hmm. We were just grimy, man. We get to the back. We get to the bucket, man, because it's about you respect with us. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? We'll hit you, knock you down. You better get up and be tough. Because if you ain't, we're going to keep doing that to you. You ain't going to mm -hmm. come to the bucket, dunk on us, and then think that we ain't going to knock you into the stands the next, next, next time. No, nah, dude, that ain't happening over here. Mm. We ain't doing all that. That ain't no show. And, and I'm not going banana boating with nobody. I don't do that with no friend banana boat. Man, I ain't got time to go with you and your wife a banana boat. Mm. Me and my wife gonna be over here eating dinner. Woo. Mm -hmm. What kind of music was you listening to? What kind of music was y'all listening to besides Short? Of course, I know you was yeah. listening to Short Dog. Jay, but what y'all was listening over to? There, the over here in the East Coast, I, I was only listening to one dude, mm. and that was Biggie. No doubt. Biggie. And then I started getting learning about JJ. You came later in my yeah, career. Came you came yeah. later in my career. And then I started dealing with you when I was getting in almost like into my end of my career. Mm -hmm. So I started dealing with all oh, y'all. But Biggie was my guy. One more chance, hit my tie. No. You know, he started coming with all the videos, <laughs> he, man. That was my guy, man. He felt like he could have been from Oakland if yeah, he wasn't from what? Oakland. He came, he, big, came, he came to the West Coast. Big, big love the West Coast. Yes, yes. He loved it. I'm what? talking about he smelled like well, 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 he was that? over there. He had a cool age. Did he, he, did he ever left. go to Oakland though? Like, cause Hell I yeah. Yes, they sir. Loved you people. remember? You remember him and Forty got into it? Yeah. And they at one time them. when they and they, they was in book, Sacramento. They booked big. Yeah, 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 yeah. They had beef with Forty. Yeah. They booked them. Yeah. yeah. Kind of the limo with and Forty. It's sad. It's sad. So yeah, it was like that though, man. But he was around our way all the time. That's why I got to get out at him because you know Pop was with my boy. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because he's in Oakland, he yeah. grew up mm -hmm. with us, and he was with Forty them all the time. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, Digital Underground. Yeah. He was with all of them, so I was around them a lot. You know what okay. I'm saying? So it was him, Q, Snoop, and Short. That's mm -hmm. what my, my music was mm -hmm. when I was coming in the know. '90s. You okay. know what I'm saying? At Forty, but the East Coast was it was just basically basically big. Yeah. Cause I, I I was into him, man, That's big fight. time, man. That's I was into him fight. big time. You know what I'm saying? So this this is my last one. That's fun, man. If you had to put you as a player and match it to a, a hip hop artist, who would your game be? I I had to go I had to go with Big. You know Ooh, what I'm saying? Fine. I had to go with I Big. Love it. Me and I, Big. I thought he might have won the short. I didn't know. No, you know what? Cuz short from where I'm from and we grew up together, yeah. I would have had to go with Big, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But me and Short, that would have been a, ooh, we'd have been too tough, man. You know what I'm <laughs> That's just too tough, man. That ain't fair, man. That ain't fair, man. Nah, too too see, no, from the old. Big your 75th, Short your Hall of Fame. Yes, sir. There you go. You know, Short my Hall of Fame, Big my top 75. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get out like that. Man, we, you we, know we, what we take I'm saying? It and then, uh, if we want to do it, collaborate it, I'm going to get it for 40 to be, all, be on my back, man. Now, 40, your, no, 40, no. 40 your all star career. Yeah, yeah, he's an all star guy. You know, there you go for you breaking it down for me. That's how you gotta I, look you know, at it. You know, 40 my all-star we'll guy. Game. Then I gotta get short with my Hall, Hall of Fame. Fame. And then be yeah, 75. Top 75. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fire. The starting five.